Murder is cheap. I have a lot of good ones. I'm trying to think what one. Oh, this is a good one. Compliments of a fiend. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what else we got here. Oh, this is a nice cover. Don't you think? Look at this guy in the back, and you know that's a great cover. It's a little bit, but that's a great. Uh, probably a famous artist. I don't. I don't know. Oh, this is a funny one. The big eye in the sky. <laughs> oh, and you know what's a good one is I got this for really cheap, and then they reissued this book. This was at the time I bought it, unavailable. Dashiell Hammett. I like the ones that look kind of screwed up. Mm hmm. You know, that the dog. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, look, she's got a broken bottle. <laughs> she's pissed. I know. Well, I'm from New York, you know, born in New York City. Although my parents are from, like, you know, the South and the Midwest. My mother's from St. Louis and my dad's from Mississippi. They settled in New York. My dad was a jazz musician, Mose Allison. I don't say we were the typical family, but we weren't, I wouldn't say we were, you know, bohemian, artsy kind of family either. We were kind of like in the middle, you know. We, there were four kids in my family and we lived in a house, you know, like a million other houses. Probably like stuff over the radio, you know, obviously like a lot of R&B, uh, pop music. I remember um, fighting with my sisters over who would get to be Mary in the Shangri-Las, you know, because they were kind of Long Island girls and we, we, I really liked them. I also loved music from movies, you know, musicals, and I used to tape record the music from old movies. Then Billie Holiday, when I was really little, I loved early Billie Holiday records. I didn't really listen to country till much later. Loretta Lynn. She was probably the single biggest inspiration for me, you know, writing and stuff. When I saw Loretta Lynn on TV, um, when I was about 11 or something, it kind of reminded me of my relatives in Mississippi and, and it felt kind of familiar in that way. I just loved her personality and I, and I loved her voice. And I think I also liked it because I was always a little bit of an oddball. I was kind of um, a little contrary to what everybody else liked. And nobody on Long Island was listening to country music, I could tell you. <laughs> well, no, that's probably not true. But I would go to the, the music store, you know, the record store, and I'd see like a section for country music that was literally like this wide, you know. So I kind of liked it. It was like my own little thing that nobody else really was into, so. I didn't really sing in public till my mid-twenties when I had already written like about a, at least a dozen songs and I just realized that if I were gonna you know tape them and get them down in any form I would have to sing them myself. We recorded some stuff on a four track and we sent it to, we gave it to a club. I ended up you know unexpectedly getting a gig you know to play these songs and uh, sing these songs which terrified me but I got over it. Out of sight. So I hear. <laughs> no, he's been very sweet to me. Recently, in fact, I just, somebody sent me a, a, a you know, a video cassette of him, you know, talking me up kind of on this VH1 show. I knew he had mentioned my name, but I didn't know he had said such sweet things. And I've had a little bit of correspondence with him and he's, he's really great. Oh, that's right. And Laura is one of my friends in New York. Yeah, she's and she's um. That is that was so nice. Yeah, I was so grateful, so glad that you know that she chose that song to cover. I think that also was kind of an entree into the UK because I think she she'd done really well over there. I guess there's a story behind every song. What a question. Of course there's a story. No, but anyway, I know her hair was red is obviously, I guess, kind of um, about something real. I mean, my grandfa my grandmother, my father's mother, I wrote that right after she died, you know, and it, re it references like a thing that they refer to as the island because it's surrounded by a creek. And that's where um, 
part of the farm that my dad uh, grew up on and his the house that he was born in um, was and when I was little you'd go over the bridge that you have to go the rickety old bridge that you have to go across you go through like a cotton field and you get to this little bridge which just like looked like boards just laid across it's off of a, an album that he of his that he really likes called My Backyard and um, it's just a song that's a really beautiful love song usually he's more sardonic you know like social commentary kind of you know that stuff gets more attention often. J this guy J.C. Hopkins was doing a tribute to my dad here in New York and I had to choose a song of his to cover and I ended up just choosing that and having my father accompany me. Oh yeah, I mean he's he's got to be I think just because you know growing up with him and always being aware of his music and and you know his music is so much him you know he's a total original He's, um, he's never compromised. Also, he fed a family of six. Well, they don't make any sense often. No. It's just the way I sing and the, you know, and, and I feel like, you know, there's no fakery to it. It's not like I'm making myself sound this way, you know, this is the way I sound and this is, uh, so, I mean, if you don't like it, that's, that's, you know, that's okay with me. Lindsay Hutton told me I should set up on my web website like all of the uh, different descriptions of my voice because if you read them you would never get an idea of what my voice sounded like. It's just purely like uh, Amy Allison has a voice that could stop a falling rock. I don't know what that means but it sounds good to me. See I take all of that as like great. If they can't nail it and who wants to sound like everybody else you know? Well the thing is I love New York so I don't know. As an artist, I, I know a lot of people think it's really hard. It's definitely a tough, cynical town, you know, when it comes to... But I mean, this is where I started, and this is where I kind of made a name for myself. And um, even though it's been hard, I, I don't think... Uh, I mean, that's just the way New York is. You have to love you have to love that about it. It's a great walking around city, which is always a good way to write you know for me I never sit down and write I have to usually be on the move or something and I mean I just love this city I do I really do I mean I've gone through ups and downs with it but I mean who couldn't be inspired in New York I mean at least even if you're down in the dumps and you know and you're, you're really down on the place it's an inspiration in a lot of ways I wonder what's on TV <laughs> <laughs> I was not here in the sea.